I will say they are they're, they're cute as hell. I don't understand them at all. They're they're cute little feet. I don't get them. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here. Bet you thought this would be like the most insane video to click into, right? This is some crazy thing on the thumbnail. You're like, yo, this looks insane. Little do you know, now you're watching a video of a grown man playing as a chicken. No! Come on, dude. I, you have no stamina as a freaking chicken. It is ridiculous how far T-Rexes have come to go. Oh, no, it just says, oh my god. Dude, chickens. Um, I, I kind of thought chickens would be screwed over an arc. Not until this video just now was I 100% verified of that. Anyways, what's going on everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved Play as Dino. I'm checking out this mod with all these crazy modded creatures in it that are insanely realistic. Like, look at that chicken's face. It's a very realistic chicken face right there. I honestly, you guys, I don't know if anyone's gonna shame me for this. I've never seen a chicken in my life. Like, in person, I don't think I've ever seen a, a chicken once. It, t at 27 years old, never seen a chicken. But, I mean, from like commercials, no, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what a chicken looks like, right? I've seen a lot of photos of chickens. I've seen many near evidence of chickens. And every time I see a chicken, it looks pretty much just like this one. As far as I can tell, that's a chicken. I think my entire chicken knowledge is based off Skyrim. Anyways, so what's going on, guys? Riot's here trying to get pregnant as a bunch of random crazy modded uh, animals that all look insanely realistic. I don't know who the hell's making all these insanely realistic animals. All I know is now in 2020, we have insanely realistic looking chickens in Ark, and I don't want to go back. I, I don't think I could get pregnant. This is actually very upsetting. I don't have a lot of options as a woman. I'm not a career-driven lady. Okay, there we go. I could get for this. You're my mate now, buddy. What's going on? I gotta freaking hold him tight. If he separates even an inch, we disconnect and the, and the magic is broken. We're doing it! Yeah! Also, I wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who left a like on my ARC video last episode. I kind of made it clear that I got hit. I am freaking pregnante, buddy. That's what, this is my husband! Run, husband! But yes, I got that copyright claim and it has been destroying my channel as they regularly do. First they come for your views and they start notifying everyone of your videos and it's been nuts because I don't know, it's my second copyright claim. Usually people don't make it to a third. She just stole my husband! What the sh- Let's get the hell out of- I don't even know- Oh my god, I'm just getting out of this town. I, I don't even know how to start a new life. My freaking- My chicken, my husband was just eaten by a, a seagull. Oh my god, chickens never had it easy. I can't believe that just happened, but yes, everyone who left a like, it got like 4,000 likes, which is awesome, because my art videos usually don't, and that kind of stuff really helps prevent your channel from being deleted, so thank you so much, everyone who left a like on the last art video, thank you to everyone who leaves one on this video to help fight the copyright strike as well, and oh my god, that is the cutest shit I've ever seen, no, pregnant pirate single mother under attack, dude, this is like brutal times where I guess I could go underwater, we can submerge, you bitch, Try not to cuss in these videos as much anymore because, again, my channel's already being destroyed by copyrights. But I feel like that seagull definitely deserved that. Alright, so do I try and have this baby? What do we do here? Irrelevant. We never even got a freaking egg. We got a nest and a pirate hat, but we did not get an egg. Alright, so there you have it. You cannot get pregnant as a chicken. I guess the world's not as advanced as I thought it was. 2020, you can become anything you want except a pregnant chicken. Kind of, kind of sad, really. There's a freaking snow leopard on here. Oh, it's a dog! Hang on a second. I'm not gonna change its colors because nature already made it look pretty beautiful See all the creatures in here I'm not really sure where the hell they're all coming from, but they look damn snazzy Like it's not actually meant to be a play as dino mod It's meant to be like creatures added to your world that you like obviously tame and stuff like that I'm just awesome. You know, I see creatures. I go. I want to be that chicken not I want to tame that chicken I mean, the snow leopard seems pretty. I wasn't expecting to get all like crazy over it because it's like, like, oh my god, a snow leopard. But it's it's still it's kind of gorgeous to have around your world. Honestly, this kind of thing is probably prettier to, to tame than to play as. I don't know. Aren't these things like generally extinct or closing in on extinct? I don't know why the hell anyone would want to be one. We don't even have any special animations. Our only superpower is looking adorable. I guess that fits. That's a, that's a good one. Kind of silly selection though. I feel like I just chose it because it was pretty. All right, this is officially the epitome of intense content right here. You guys, oh, I clicked out of arc. You guys, <laughs> you guys came here for the craziest of dinosaurs and monsters and kaiju, Godzilla ripping testicles off Tyrannosaurus faces, but fe fe feces. But what you got today instead is a cat, but not just any cat. It's freaking, it's pretty adorable. I'm a dog guy through and through. I've never owned a cat in my life, but I will say they are, they're, they're cute as hell. I don't understand them at all. They're, they're cute little feet. I don't get them. 
Holy shit! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh god damn it. That's what you get for looking at its feet! I'm not gonna lie, I really thought they'd be like extremely fast. I thought we'd have no issue outrunning anything. Either way though, surviving as a stray cat in Ark sounds pretty fantastic. I actually, I don't know. I imagine because there's prehistoric kittens. It's all kind of troubling issues. There's the, maybe, even the mosquitoes I imagine could fly away with a cat. But we have like this like large surplus of chickens on beaches. So a, a cat could easily take that a chicken. I'm assuming, right? I've never seen a cat fight a chicken. I actually don't know what cats are capable of. We can do this though. And that right there should sell it. I mean, if you're if you're a good person or relatively, I don't know, human. If you're human at all, this should this should put a nice warm feeling in your stomach. I imagine. If you haven't left a like on the video already, the little kitten mittens should knock that one out. We're also able to do a little. Oh, like there's a little like there's a, a little mouse in front of us, and we just pounce on it. For some reason, the cat has more animations than half the creatures brought in here. I, I think the cat has more animations than the Indoraptor. Funny enough. But I understand, I mean, a cat, that's a career. Indoraptor's a job, a cat, that is a career. Are we able to pounce on the chickens? I don't think that one actually does. Okay, that one does. We could freaking box the chickens. Look, don't judge me, all right? I get around as a cat. I, uh, it's to my understanding, cats are infamous sluts. I don't know, everyone I know as a cat says whenever their cat gets out, like they have to get them immediately spayed for some reason. I guess they just go right to procreation. I don't know, again, I've never owned a cat. All I know is that was my first go-to thought here, was become, YES, I'M GESTATING! Okay, so as a gestated cat, there's gotta be a kitten within me, right? That's like the science behind that. Okay, so I seem to have broke the server somehow. It, it, it just keeps showing admin commands in the bottom corner. My secret's totally out. I've been exposed as a YouTuber. It's, it's true, I do spawn in 30 cats sometimes in my Plays Dino Cat videos, alright? I just felt freaking lonely as hell over here with no cat loving. Like, it was just, you know, that one Cardo went to eat me, that bird ate my husband. It's been dark times around here. I really needed some camaraderie, and to, I made a little cat island that's beautiful. But on the downside, the server seems to have broken, and it won't hide the commands anymore. It's just, I don't know, man, being exposed at this point in my career is harmful to everything. Which one? No freaking way, because I logged back in. I have two husbands now. Look at me. Alright, if these husbands really care for me as much, let's, I guess let's find out which one likes me more. Which one gets to hold my hand later? Whichever one of you defends my honor from this pego. Okay, cats can't, apparently can't whistle attack. We can't do anything, in fact. Okay, there we go. I did that. Yeah. Get him, boys! Look at my brave husbands over there. Or soon to be. What? No, they're both going to freaking. Look at them. They look so cute, though. I mean, they really did their part. I'm out of here because I'm going to die. But. Um, it's also kind of, I really thought, I don't know, I probably thought one of them was going to do something. I don't think you, <laughs> you necessarily want to let your, your cats out of base at all. Alright everyone, it was all, it was all just lies, I'm going to be honest. I freaking tried, I tried my hardest, I've had to re-log like three times trying to save that baby. The baby was just not meant to be saved, it's kind of an upsetting time for me, alright, freaking... I don't know. I wear the pirate hat. I've I've gone through the process of creating a baby. It's just I don't I don't think whoever made this mod really considered what would happen if you started getting cats pregnant. Perhaps it's for the best because cats could like destroy local ecosystems because they. But I think that's just because they eat like thousands of animals a year. I don't actually know any of the science. I don't know. I seem to have a lot of excuses for a dead baby. <laughs> it just wouldn't be made. Oh, that's pretty freaking cute though. Wow, look at that whole level up animation. Jesus Christ, why is there so much work done on these cats? These are like the most updated animals in Ark. It's the silliest little freaking thing to play as. At least he's finally leaving us alone. I wonder if with like enough tactics, if I could actually... Yeah, no, this is the stupidest thing I've really ever played as. I'm sorry, cats are adorable, but they do not belong in Ark. I feel about as exposed as the chicken. I don't even know what the hell I'd eat around here, except for chickens. Can I gather meat off of this? Okay, can someone down below please help me with the science behind this? I know I'm not the most intelligent man. Obviously, I do a lot of mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. I mean, I, I freaking break a lot of stuff, but... Do, do, do bulls have udders? I was like a thousand percent sure yesterday. Or this morning, until five minutes ago, in fact, that bulls did not have udders. But here I am. Uh, uh, the front half of me is man. The back half of me is a woman. I'm just very- Oh yeah, now we can do some damage. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We actually messed stuff up right now. I don't know if 37 damage is messing anything up in any way, shape, or form. But considering how destroyed that cat got, or those two cats got against that pego, that's pretty insane. Now back to the topic at hand. 
Do male cows have tits? I, I just, I, I could have, I feel like I would have remembered something about this. Someone would have mentioned something at one point about bull cows having prestices. I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to put a pin in that one. We'll wait down below. There's always like at least like a good half of my subscribers who grew up in like farmland and stuff like that. Half of you guys have cows and horses. Can you guys go check underneath your local bull and make sure like I could just swore there's supposed to be some balls down there. I just don't know what life is anymore. Whoa, doesn't the, isn't Karno like, I don't know, it's something related to bull, right? Like the freaking meaning behind Carnotaurus? The bull reptile or something, something epic like that? I want to go fight one as a bull. But we're not going to complete, I feel like a good part of bullness is testosterone. And we don't have any testosterone without balls, damn it. We have mammary glands, bro. We can breastfeed. I, I, I know it's 2020 and, okay, it's going down now either way, baby. Horn on horn. Oh, I can keep him at bay. No, I can't. It was all lies. It's because I don't have balls. No, oh, this wouldn't happen if I had balls. Oh, I freaking broke my headphones. I can't hear out of the left one anymore unless I keep my head. Oh, unless I keep that is the cutest little thing right there. But if it, I don't know, it's just, it's been one of those days. All my equipment has been breaking this past week. It's been pretty fantastic. This rabbit has as much work put into it though as the cat though. This is actually crazy. Like where are all these animals come? Whoa, dude, that is one badass looking rabbit. But where are all these creatures coming? I'm sure like the mod dev who's making these is where they're all coming from. But it's just weird for them to all come out of left field. Like someone really wanted some completely realistic rabbits and cows and I mean semi-realistic cows, all right? This is just like, look at the detail on these ears. We're in first person and there's like actual little hair fibers on this. Oh, cause we are a hair. That's genius. I, I've never actually, I don't know. We have like Southern California rabbits, which are just this little like brown hair, short or short brown hair, like basic ones. I've never seen one like this where its leg looks like chicken legs and its ass is constantly raised into the air. This thing actually looks like a bit of a floozy. And as you start to bite, its ass only goes higher up into the air. What the hell is going on around? The creatures actually walk like this? This is not look comfortable. Dude, his legs are like extending past his face. Then we got dodos. Dodos are nice to appreciate because they're like the, the before time goofy creature. Before when it was just a world full of chickens. I honestly can't see why someone wouldn't add this to the world. Maybe if they had a bit of a protest against, against those... I don't even know what the hell to call those cows anymore, but I mean, who doesn't want a bunch of chickens and rabbits running around your arc world? What a great way to stay full. We are able to bite, right? Everything's got a little attack. We just put our ass so high in the air when we attack. It seems downright ridiculous. Almost, yeah, it seems like eventually we're going to flip over from top sideways. I don't think anything in this mod was necessarily ever meant to be played as with. Like, you were meant to have a little, a little... A hare? Yeah. A rabbit or like a chicken in your world? A cat? Cattle? Stuff like that? Just a rabbit. But you were never meant to play as those creatures. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own personal opinions and stuff. Everyone's entitled to be wrong at any time they want. I just personally think the freaking Halloween Indoraptor looks way sexier than the, maybe the normal one. Just I don't know. To be honest, I have a bunch of rebuttals involving the freaking Indoraptor. He's he's an incredible creature. He really is. But at the same time, they just made so many goofy things with that entire story. I think the thought of a dinosaur that's triggered by like you really didn't get up enough levels. Wait, no, it's you have to kill. What do you, how do you unlock the crazy stuff over here? The the freaking Reaper. Reaper helmet's what we want. Kill t what? That's crazy. To get the dinosaur witch hat, we have to kill 10 Indoraptors? What kind of new challenge is that? That's freaking terrifying. You know how impossible that is? Kill 10 Indoraptors. We're not getting a witch hat. Just personally, I had many, many issues with the new Jurassic World movie. I'm not, the, and the freaking Indoraptor reminds me of this every time. It was an amazing movie, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like, I feel like the whole horror epic essence of the first three movies was kind of lost by the last Jurassic World. And also the freaking, the, the ding is like, who goes in and opens the Indoraptor cage at the end? Like, for God's sakes, we're just getting so lazy with how these dinosaurs are breaking out now. I don't know, I'm sorry, I just watched Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3 last night again, like just binged it last night. And yeah, we got our miner's helmet, son. Oh, it goes on backwards, you doofus. It's like his spirit is willing, like, he's really trying to help out and be one of the crew, but it's just, the, I don't know, whoever's behind him is going to be well lit. I can't really judge, I wear hats backwards as well, it's definitely the coolest way to do it. I honestly don't even know where the hell you would even find Indoraptors in the wild. Like, I've never seen a wild Indoraptor in this game. The whole point is they have to be created. They can't just, they don't just spawn naturally. 
I think the mod dev is a little confused with what the hell is going on around here. But just, I don't know, I just think we've really swayed from the whole point of Jurassic Park. It, it's just the laziest way anyone's ever let a dinosaur out of its containment. But now we're cloning little girls and stuff, and Blue's a one-shot. Like, you mean to tell me this whole time you can just shoot a raptor once with a pistol and it goes down? Then how the hell are we losing, like, groups of, like, 20, 30 men with, like, machine guns and rocket launchers? They could have mowed down the raptors easily this whole time? Are you kidding me? I was just, there's so many upsetting things about the new Jurassic World movie. The Indoraptor was gorgeous though. They definitely made a scary monster machine. I don't know why the hell it's triggered by a freaking- it's like stupid. It's like aim your gun at this guy and then press this noise and he'll die. It's like, but I'm already aiming a gun at him. Why don't I just shoot him? Because that- that's too easy and over too quick. You want to spend 35 million dollars on this dinosaur that'll do it first. And it's like, what? Th these numbers don't end up. You're already aiming a gun at the guy. Okay, and that is the end of my venting about Jurassic World. I'm sorry. I had to get I had to get the opinion out there. Someone's gotta tell the press. Have we gotten this yet? We're 48% through there. You dirty bastard. Have a baby. Like it's just that easy to have a baby. You have to be financially prepared for that kind of thing. You can't just have a kid. This mod doesn't understand life at all. It's pretty exact with some stuff though. I just killed like five dodos and none of them counted. I guess dodos weren't dinosaurs. I'm happy that's a thing to be honest. I hate when everyone thinks everything in this game is a dinosaur. Okay, we're, we're chowing through these things pretty nicely. There's like such a shortage of dinosaurs around here. It's crazy. You know what it is? It's all these damn cats. That's exactly what it is. There's a- Oh no, I killed a cat. I don't feel right about that. I'm getting out of here. I mean, just because I've never owned a cat, so I can eat a cat much easier than if I had to eat a dog. I mean, in a video game, in real life, I'd never eat either. That just sounds disgusting and, like, primitive, but I would never, like, uh, it's just, it feels, it's because everyone I care about loves their cats, so in a way, I still love them. I've never, I spent more than 10 minutes with a cat in real life, to be honest. Wouldn't even know where to find one. Everyone I know just owns big, vicious dogs that don't really trust around cats. My cousin Ryan, though, Arcade, the one who used to be in- Can we even kill this freaking thing? It's gonna destroy us. If we can kill this thing with 300 health left, then the raptor's the strongest creature on the planet. But, um, he- he rescues a lot of cats, so... He seems to- he vouches for them. He says cats are pretty fantastic. I trust his judgment, so... Cats are cool by me, man. We can literally kill this thing with 300 health! Cause look at this bleed effect, like he's just being gutted. Like a kangaroo just gnashed his belly open, he's being gutted. We are a higher level than him though, but not really. This bleed effect is amazing, cause they all do so much damage, you can just like leave them bleeding and then just leave them, leave them on their own. It's mostly the backwards miner's hat that's a bit, they don't bleed enough though. I feel like they should die, cause I'm dying having to go back to him. I almost freaking died right there in fact. I don't know, it, it really would have, been, would have been really cool to see the, the raptor actually go forth into like nature and do it a bunch of, I don't know, fought like one raptor. Where did my camera turn off? Johnny, I swear to God, like six years of YouTube, buddy, you should know when your camera's off. But I mean, I, it would have been cool to see it take down more dinosaurs. It kind, it kind of just hunted a little girl the whole time. It couldn't even get the little girl. Like, how the hell am I supposed to be afraid of something that can't even catch a little girl? I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like, third graders, I could probably beat up like several thousand third graders before my shoulder cramped up. And the raptor couldn't even get one of them. The more I play as this creature, the more I get frustrated over its existence. No! No! No, my God! Come on, damn it! I, I can't believe this is. I guess it makes sense. You can't just go around killing everything. But come on, dude! We can't even kill twenty dinosaurs. If you die, it restarts, and then your life is over. Then you got to kill a whole new butt. We actually repair pretty fast. Is it that we repair fast, or that we just don't have a lot of health in the first place to freaking even get back to? way you guys don't count is yeah we got it sucker off their freaking corpses eat my balls i don't know why everything's going to the left side that just means the mod is being bugged right now but whatever oh that's just fantastic that's just so special to me look how cool this looks guys look look out look how sick we look right now oh my god arc tone it down a notch you know this, this kid's watching this this almost can count as pornography what what in the hell am i looking at i mean I, I understand it fits most vanilla dinosaurs, or even all vanilla dinos, if anything, so modded ones are the problem. I just don't understand how the fact that it's like a little bigger than whatever the hell it normally would be, that it's all of a sudden backwards and just stupid as hell. Okay, this is probably what's all about right here. 
oh, I feel like this one definitely looks the best. Damn it, it just glitches into his face a little bit. It's like we're so close to achieving just the ultimate, just most gorgeous adorableness ever. And we just freaking get sent back. Why does it all go to the left side now? It's so confusing. Wow, you know, it's like they say that Indoraptor is the most intelligent species ever, but you don't really believe it until you see him standing there with a set of glasses. For some reason, glasses just make everything look so much more intelligent. That is one ridiculously smart fellow right there. A smart fella or a fart smella. Either way, I'd trust him to watch my children. And he's got all the chickens. Why don't what? No, there, I won't trust him to watch my children. Why the hell did I say that? <laughs> Realistically, I don't think I'm ever going to trust anyone with my children. Whoa! Eh, that one doesn't look as cool. It looks like an Indoraptor with a Santa hat. Pretty much exactly what I thought would happen when I placed a Santa hat on the Indoraptor. Well, that one's cool. It's like, you know, if you want to give your enemies a seizure as they're coming at you, that's the way to do it. All the colors are a bit too beautiful for me, though. I think the Indoraptor should just be scary as hell. Dude, we're like a spectral ghost Indoraptor. It's like weird being able to see the model inside. Look at this, someone pointed this out before, I think it was Kieran. Freaking, now we only have a shadow hat too, nothing else casts a shadow. But look, it's like the, the back of the Indoraptor, it's like Stegosaurus scales, right? Or spikes, whatever they'd be called. But then when you remove them, it becomes the little frilly things on the back. That's like where they come from, that's how they made that. We, we totally just like solved the entire Indoraptor. None of these are nearly as freaking cool though as a reaper helmet. That's pretty adorable too, I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably go with the bunny ears or the glasses. But the hat, the hat looks so cool too. Well that pretty much wraps up today's video, which is like the most, the most pointless video I've ever done in a long freaking time. But it's like fun to just come in here every once in a while, you know, and just be an Indoraptor with bunny ears or a chicken whose husband gets eaten or a cat who gets pregnant by 30 guys. Actually, this was a pretty weird video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace!